All right, so I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here. And both the Note 10 as well as the Note 10 Plus and even the Note 10 5G, they have a lot of applications that come installed on the device right when you take it out of the box. And you're inevitably going to be installing additional applications and games as soon as you start using it. And these third-party applications can actually have a negative impact on your Galaxy Note 10. Now the Note 10 is powerful enough to handle the applications, but some of these apps or games are programmed poorly and will either continually, continually run in the background or they will continuously peg the CPU or GPU at a certain uh, frequency, which can cause all sorts of things like overheating, poor battery life, poor performance, and even things like force closings. So today I want to show you a troubleshooting step called safe mode that will disable all of your third-party applications that you have installed so that you can see whether or not it's those applications that are causing it or if it's something within the Android operating system itself. So to do that, we're going to need to bring up the power menu. And we can do that by either pressing and holding the side button, assuming you have the side key settings set up, or we can bring down the notification shade and tap on the power button. So this is what we call the power menu. And here we normally would just tap on power off or tap on restart. Instead we're going to long press on that power off option. Now as long as you don't tap it, as long as you long press on the power off option, you're going to see the safe mode prompt and button appear. And we're just going to tap that green button to initiate the reboot from regular mode, so to speak, into what is referred to as safe mode. Now the boot cycle will be exactly the same as normal. It's only going to take a few seconds. But whenever we boot back up, we're going to be, like I said, we're going to be in safe mode. You can see that by the watermark down at the bottom left. And Samsung is even known for adding a notification for safe mode. It looks like that has changed. Okay, here we go. It just needed to boot up. So you will also get a notification here telling you that you are in safe mode whenever safe mode is active. So, like I said, whenever you are in safe mode, your third-party applications are going to be disabled. And this is a blanket disable. It's going to disable them all and not all of your applications, just the third party ones, the ones that you cannot, or the ones that you can uninstall. So you can see here the difference between applications that are disabled and applications that are not disabled. The disabled applications are gray and have lost their color. And if we try to open one, we're going to get what we call a toast message down here at the bottom that tells us our downloaded applications have been disabled while we are in safe mode. Now that doesn't happen for regular apps. Regular apps we're gonna be able to do that just fine. It's the third-party apps that are disabled. And you're going to want to try to use the device in safe mode as you normally would when you experience those issues. Again, whether it's overheating or crashing or poor performance, use the phone as much as you can as you normally would. Naturally, you can't open up third-party apps, so you're gonna have to avoid those, but you'll still be able to browse the web, take pictures, go through the gallery, play videos, etc. And while you are doing those tests in safe mode, see if you experience the same thing. 
if you are experiencing the same overheating, poor performance, poor battery life, whatever issues while you are in safe mode, that means a third party application is not causing the issue and you're going to have to do something like perform a factory reset to fix it. However, if the issue is fixed while you are in safe mode, then it is a third party application that is causing it. And then it's your responsibility to go through all of your installed applications and find out which one is causing it. You can either do that by disabling them one by one, uninstalling them one by one, or just getting rid of them all if you want. Just the goal is to find out which one it is. You can also download various battery apps that can give you a bit of a hint as to which applications or games are messing up. And that's really all there is to safe mode. Safe mode is in a lot of Android devices. I would say all, but Xiaomi removes it from MIUI. And I want to show you to get out of safe mode. We're just going to bring up our power menu again. Again, we can do that by pressing and holding on the side button if you have that set up or tapping that. And we're just going to tap the restart button. Just doing a regular restart from safe mode will boot you out of safe mode when you boot back into Android. However, you can also tap on this safe mode notification, tap on turn off, and all that's going to do is tell your Galaxy Note 10 or Galaxy Note 10 Plus to reboot. Just like I showed you that you can do a reboot from the power menu. It's going to reboot the phone and it's going to boot us right back into Android. And we're not going to see that watermark there at the bottom left. So there we have it. That is how to boot the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus into and out of safe mode.